Right the Pats right at the here. line, ready to go. On first down, Brady. This is White on the screen. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Seven yards. There on the first down screen play. Brings up second and three at the 22-yard line. Wait, Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Brady gives to Michelle, and they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. It's almost a tendency breaker. On first and ten, here's Brady. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off around the 41. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go. Garoppolo gives to Breda. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. On second down and four, Garoppolo. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown from 13 yards out as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The Pats at the line, ready to go. The interception on the last drive proved costly, led to the tying score, so 17-all as they come up on a first down. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. Wait, that, wait, 20! Hey, watch the slam. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Hey, 66. On second down. It's White. And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They keep it on the ground. White again. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. The Pats do snap it. It's Brady. 
He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, on fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. And that run was memorable for only one reason. There was absolutely no place to run with the football. No gaps, no creases, no gain. Looking to throw on second down. Garoppolo. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Deron Harmon. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Patriot defense has a touchdown. In a tie game fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations type of plays they like to run, read it, and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Now Garoppolo to try again after the pick six. Going underneath, it's Coleman. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. Garoppolo is going to give this to Breed on the draw. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. 21, 21. Here we go. One, Omaha. He's back to throw. And that will be incomplete. Figuring they're going for it on fourth down. Remember, though, they do have all three timeouts, so even if they don't get it, all is not lost. Yeah, normally in this situation, when you're talking about having to go for it, everything is in this play. But as you noted, with those three timeouts, they actually have a little bit of a safety net. He'll look to throw. The Sanders has got it complete. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Back to throw. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this fourth quarter. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! 21, 21. Back to throw. And that's complete to Sanders. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That is now 19-yard gains on back-to-back -back plays. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. 21, 21. They'll look to throw. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie this thing up in the final minute. And while it appears the heavy lifting 
was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They have a little bit of time here to get into field goal range. Not much. A tie game, you don't want to do anything crazy, right? I agree with you on that one. Risk-reward, okay? If you go for it, what is the absolute reward on this? But the risk is probably greater. Run the clock out, get to overtime, and try and win it there. All right, we'll see if they do just that. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Now Brady. Incomplete. And we're down to eight seconds now. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. Brady to throw. And that is incomplete. Two seconds left on the clock. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. To throw is Brady. He's airing it out for Sanu. And he's in. Are you kidding me? How do you get that up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game. And they do win it on the final play. Well, we know the crowd is absolutely stunned by what we just saw there. Forget, I'm stunned. I have to believe that you are as well. When they finally get their legs back under them, they'll head to the exits, and I think they'll probably be muttering a few choice words along the way, too. How did that happen? I don't know. They certainly thought overtime was on the horizon, bracing for overtime. We were, too, and I don't, we, we may want to wait a little bit before <laughs> heading for the exits, let that parking lot clear out a bit. Maybe there's a later flight we can catch. That might be a good idea. The extra point is good, and on the final play of the game, they walk away with a victory. Well, that was a fun game to witness, partner. A touchdown there at the very end to win this thing. And that's really where the emphasis is, right? The touchdown to win it. I know that they put a little on top, right? What's your favorite dessert? You know, what do you want? What do you put on top of your favorite dessert? You put a whipped cream, there, maybe there, a cherry. There you go. The whipped cream, the cherry, whatever you want to talk about, that's what they put on it. But the story, the touchdown to win it, that's how they got it done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.